Hi everyone, it's me. In today's video, we are going to throw it back. We are going to bring it back to basically like what my channel originated on. <laughs> and those were videos where I tried the most viral workouts on YouTube. So I've decided to revive that idea today and we are going to be trying the most viral workouts from the past year. Also, look at my hair, you guys. <laughs> I left my hair in a braid for like over 24 hours and this is what has happened to me. <laughs> kind of frizzy, but it's also kind of cute at the same time, I think. I don't know. But yeah, that is basically the premise of today's video. I've basically taken the workout videos on YouTube from the past year that have the most views and I've kind of structured them into like a five day active workout week. So yeah, I have a bunch of different workouts here. I'm not going to do them like in the order of like most viewed to least viewed or least viewed to most viewed, but I'm just going to pick and choose from what I have here every day just to kind of give myself a more well-rounded structure for my workout week. So yeah, this week's video is going to be super fun. I have a lot of new YouTube channels that I haven't tried yet in my lineup this week, so that is super exciting. Let's just get into our first workout. So yeah, I have a bunch of workouts here to try. I have taken two rest days now in a row. So I'm in the mood for something kind of more intense, something kind of more full body. And on my list here, I have a workout from Juice and Toya, which is a YouTube channel that I've tried one workout from, I believe. So not too much experience with this channel. I have tried it once a long time ago. I don't really remember what I thought of it, but they have one particular workout on their channel called 20 Minute Full Body Cardio Hit Workout No repeat and this video has 9,630,000 views so yeah tons of views on this one definitely went viral let's just give this one a try Juice and Toya workout is done. That was definitely mostly cardio with a bit of a core finisher at the end, which I did really like. The structure of this workout was 50 seconds on and 10 second rest. And it was very straightforward to follow. There was no like guided voice instruction. They did kind of the beep style workout, you know what I mean? And I really enjoyed how they work together here because obviously there's two coaches, there's Juice and there's Toya, but there's always one person doing the more high impact version of an exercise and then one person doing the low impact version. So if you're looking for modifications, they make it super, super easy to follow. They had a lot of conventional hit exercises in there, but they also incorporated a little bit of kickboxing, which I absolutely love. You guys know I love kickboxing. So anytime someone adds in like punches or kicks into a workout, I'm like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, nothing really to complain about here. The workout was closer to 27 minutes long because they did include a warm up and a cool down outside of the 20 minute hit workout. So if you are short on time and you're looking for an exactly 20 minute workout, this one does go a couple minutes over, which I actually liked because it's closer to my preferred like movement time. Those are my thoughts on this one. I think that was a really great start to the workout week and I would highly recommend this one. Breakfast time! I hope you guys like when I incorporate eating food into my workout videos. I think most of you do. But let me know if you would rather me separate them into different videos. Right now, I'm just kind of combining my whole life into one video a week. Mmm! <laughs> wow, have a blackberry. They're really juicy. A blackberry with seven. No, a blackberry alone. No, look how juicy. Oh my gosh. Anyways, good morning. I hope you guys are having a snack or breakfast or meal while you are watching this video. So you don't feel hungry. The worst is when you're watching someone eat food and you're not eating it yourself. We were watching Iron Chef on Netflix. Oh my gosh, those cooking shows just make you so hungry. If you don't have a snack, it's kind of like torture. <laughs> Good morning. We are going to be trying some more viral workouts today and we are doing a combination of two different videos by two different people that were both like super, super trendy in 2020. <laughs> you may have already guessed who they are by now, but the first one is going to be from Chloe Ting. I feel like in 2020, everyone was just on a Chloe Ting rampage and Chloe is still at it. She's still posting workout videos. She's still getting a ton of views. 
So the first workout I'm doing today is a 12 minute weight loss hit workout. And this video has 5,800,000 views. I can see why the video has a lot of views. Putting weight loss in the title of the video is something that I don't really agree with, but yeah, that's Chloe. <laughs> and then the second workout we are going to try today is from Daisy Keach, who had that insanely painful bubble butt challenge in 2020 that I also did try. And Daisy is also still going at it. Two months ago, she posted a workout called Hourglass Abs Workout, eight minutes. Repeat this to cinch your waist. And this video only in the past two months has already gotten three million views. This video also has like <laughs> the most simple thumbnail. Honestly, if you can post a thumbnail that simple and get that many views, good for you. <laughs> so again, this video maybe does not have the most agreeable title for me, but I've never tried an ab workout from Daisy before. So I'm very curious, I'm very excited to try it and see what we do. But yeah, those are the two videos we are going to try today. Overall active time will be 20 minutes. I'm gonna do both of these workouts and then I'll have a chat with you after I'm done at both of them. That truly brought me back to 2020. <laughs> okay, so let's start with Chloe's workout. So this was a weight loss hit, part of her weight loss challenge. And again, I understand why Chloe chooses to use these as her titles of her videos and the titles of her challenges because obviously they get a lot of clicks. And it may work for someone. I know a lot of people are on weight loss journeys themselves and that's completely fine. But for someone like me, I just don't quite agree with it so much. I think this title is better. It is a step up from her like get abs in two weeks type of title because those are just like so far-fetched. I feel like at least a weight loss challenge, you're not promising like something specific, but it's more of like a general goal. So yeah, I guess there's a bit of an improvement there. <laughs> but to talk about the workout itself, so very reminiscent of old Chloe. I haven't done any of her workouts in a while, but I feel like her style is still quite similar. Her voiceover cues are still there. The timing and her timers and everything still seem the same. But yeah, this 12 minute workout definitely had a lot of cardio. I definitely got my heart rate up, which was really good. And yeah, for a 12 minute cardio workout. There's nothing really wrong about it for me. In the past, I have tried Chloe's challenges kind of more in full and I know that for me personally, if I try and do her style of exercise for an extended period of time, like more than a couple days, I do like mentally start feeling burnt out. But I think for one-offs, I actually do enjoy her workout. So those are my thoughts on Chloe's workout. And then we moved on to the Daisy Keach Hourglass workout. Again, very big focus on physical appearance in the title here. She literally typed out like I do this to get a cinched waist. <laughs> so a lot of physical appearance motivated people clicking this video. This ab workout, to be honest, like wasn't very intense for me. I've definitely done a lot more intense ab workouts out there on YouTube. And I was really expecting this ab workout from Daisy to be really intense. First of all, because it's only eight minutes. And second of all, because she's promising like such drastic results. Like she's saying you're gonna get an hourglass figure doing this and you're gonna get a cinch waist and everything. So I expected this to be more of like a difficult challenge, but it was kind of like, just all right. I feel like it was average intensity. I definitely worked my abs, but it wasn't like overly difficult. The exercises all seemed quite generic. It's all probably stuff you've done before. So yeah, I mean, there's nothing to complain about regarding the exercises we did, but for some reason, I just expected a bit more intensity. But I mean, overall, not bad. <laughs> Would I do this video over and over and over again for like a month to try and get a cinched waist in an hourglass figure? Probably not. But again, for a one-off eight minute quick ab workout, it's all right. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now from Daisy and Chloe. I definitely feel like I just jumped back in time, back to 2020, <laughs> back to my 2020 workout routine. So this was a very fun blast from the past. <laughs> I've been really loving this avocado salsa combo on hash browns lately. So good. This is a huge bite. <laughs> Breakfast is for sure my favorite meal of the day. What's your favorite meal of the day? Let me know in the comments. Mm, breakfast. 
forever. Good morning, you guys. So today my calves are a little bit sore. I think because the past two days I've done like very jumpy hit and I haven't really been doing that as a part of my normal workout routine lately. My calves just aren't used to that much jumping anymore. So yeah, they're a little sore. So we're gonna change up the pace a bit and we're gonna do some videos that I don't think there's jumping in, but I don't know, I might be wrong. Today we are gonna do a bunch of workouts from a channel called Workout. Like literally it's just called Workout in capital letters. And I don't know how I haven't heard about this channel or seen any of their videos before. They have 4.5 Four to a million subscribers and a lot of their recent videos from the past year have gone like super super viral somehow like they have so many views but anyways yeah we're going to do three videos from their channel this morning the first video is called do these stretching exercises every morning this is an eight minute video and it has 18 million eight hundred and twenty three thousand views I don't know how this video never popped up for me if it has so so many views and then we're gonna move on to a video called workout at home 10 minute effective exercises 13 million 367 thousand views so a lot of views again and then the third video we are going to do today is called my 6 a.m morning routine with 14 million 498 thousand views this amount of views is absolutely ridiculous also you'll see by the thumbnails i've put on screen here but from the aesthetics of like just the thumbnail itself this reminds me a lot of what was it called roberta's gym where you're kind of following like an animated character that looks like a sim. <laughs> this is giving me Roberta's gym vibes just from the thumbnails, but yeah, let's try the workouts, see how they are. I have no idea what to expect. Let's just do it. definitely very very similar to Roberta's gym. We did indeed follow an animated character throughout all of the workout videos today. I think the one improvement though compared to Roberta's gym would be that in the animated characters they show you like all the muscles inside the animated characters. Whatever muscles you're working or whatever you're stretching at the time they highlight those specific muscles in red on the character's body which I found to be super helpful especially if you are a beginner and you're kind of new to working out. You don't know where you're supposed to feel certain exercises. I feel like that would be very, very helpful. And yeah, I think overall this channel is probably geared towards more beginners. The exercises were all very conventional. The intensity level was not very high for me personally, but yeah, definitely could be useful if you're just starting to get into exercising. I did find a couple of issues with the videos themselves. For one, the first two videos that I tried today didn't have beeps. <laughs> they had a countdown timer, but if you're doing your exercise or your stretch and you're not looking at your screen all the time, it's very easy to like miss when you're supposed to start the next movement. The third video I did today did have beeps, so that was already an improvement from the first two videos. My other issue was that in the third video we were doing a stretch that was very like one-legged and they never told you to switch sides, but then they didn't give you time to do the other side after so I felt very unbalanced and I just did the other leg after the fact. <laughs> that was definitely an oversight because we definitely want to be stretching both sides. We don't want to be uneven human beings. <laughs> honest not sure if I'm a fan of the workout channel again very similar vibes to Roberta's gym I feel like I definitely prefer following a real human being when I'm doing workout videos obviously that's personal preference it wasn't the most intense stretch but stretching is stretching and it still felt good so yeah I'm gonna leave it there for today I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way. Pancake day! <laughs> Are you guys team mini pancake or big pancake? Because I am team mini pancake, but fiance is team big pancake. <laughs> mini pancakes are just more fun. Big pancakes, you get more. No, mini pancakes, you get more pancakes, but small. Big pancakes, you get fewer pancakes, but big. <laughs> I want giant pancake, like the size of a pizza. Yeah, it was big? Uh, bigger. Yeah, like that big. That's a big pancake! Like a plain pancake or do you want stuff on it? Maybe some bananas. Do you need a giant banana or a regular sized banana? Mini bananas. <laughs> 
It is ab day today and I have found two of the most viral ab workouts from the past year. So yeah, I'm going to be doing two videos again today just because one of these is like super, super short. So the first one that we're going to start out with is from the channel called Neetang. Maybe that's how you say it. And the video I'm going to be doing from this channel is called three minute plank workout to get flat belly 14 days plank challenge. <laughs> All of these viral videos this year have such clickbaity title. <laughs> yes, that's kind of the point. After that, we are going to move on to a Chris Heria video called Complete 20 Minute Abs Workout From Home. Oh yes, yeah, so the first video, the three minute one has 7 million views. The Chris Heria workout has 6,300,000 views. Ni Tang, I have never tried before. Chris Heria, I have. I haven't been the biggest fan in the past. Let's just try both of these ab workouts and I'll let you know how I feel. Let's start with the first workout we did, which was by Neeting. This video was literally three minutes long, so it was so short. The structure of this one was 30 seconds active with no breaks, so it was just three straight minutes of core exercises. So did it burn? Yes, absolutely. Because we took no breaks between every exercise, it just made those three minutes that much harder. So yeah, if you want a quick ab workout that's gonna give you that burn, if you're short on time, or maybe you're just using it as a finisher, this video would be good for that. Do I agree that doing this workout for 14 days will give you a flat tummy as they claim in the title? No, <laughs> unless you are maybe like very genetically blessed and you also combine this workout with other forms of movement and also like a balanced healthy diet, then maybe you might have a chance of seeing results in two weeks. But yeah, are you just gonna get a magically a flat tummy by just doing three minutes of exercise a day? Highly unlikely. <laughs> so yeah, this is another video that I don't agree with the title on, but if you put that aside and just want to use this video as a quick little burnout, then yeah, by all means, go for it. I didn't see anything particularly wrong about the workout itself. It was just super, super short. <laughs> okay, so that was the knee tang video. And then moving on to Chris Heria. If you are a longtime subscriber of mine, you know Know that I've reviewed a couple of Chris Heria's videos in the past and I don't necessarily vibe with his vibe. <laughs> just the things he says like in the intros of his workout videos he always does like a little talk and I just like really don't agree with what he says. I think in this one, I fast forwarded most of it because I was just gonna get in a bad mood if I listened to him for too long. I heard in the beginning he said something like he did a 24 hour like junk food challenge or something like that or a cheat day. And because he did a cheat day for 24 hours, he now has to put himself through an ab challenge to get his abs back because he lost his abs in one day of eating junk food. <laughs> No, that's not how it works. You're not just gonna lose your abs in a day because you ate junk food for 24 hours. I just, <sighs> see now I'm getting mad. <laughs> Uh, you should not do an ab challenge because you're punishing yourself for eating junk food for a day. You should do an ab challenge because you want to get strong and feel good and you're doing this for yourself as a reward, not as a punishment. Yeah, but I mean, okay, so personal feelings towards Chris Heria aside, the workout was pretty good to be honest. I definitely felt my abs burning. He chose some really good exercises to do. I found the structure pretty good. We did 45 seconds active, 15 seconds rest. So yeah, if you're looking for a 20 minute workout and you want to do your abs, I would recommend this one. Maybe just skip the three minutes at the beginning where he's talking and he's kind of being a little bit toxic. <laughs> but yeah, just judging by the workout, I thought it was pretty good. Burned my abs. I can tell I worked my abs really hard today. If you want strong abs, it's a good workout to do. That's it. <laughs> uh, I gotta cheer myself up now. <laughs> told me more than once to show you my intention. Mm, you guys, you don't have to do abs as a punishment for eating food. Just eat the food. It's good. 
Good morning, it is Friday. We are going to do our last viral workout of the week. Today's video is from Emmy Wong, who I get a lot of requests <laughs> to try from you guys. I have tried a couple of her workouts in the past before, but I don't think I've ever done a walking workout from her, which is what we are going to try today. So today's video is a 30 minute walking cardio workout. This video has six million views, and I don't think I've done a walking workout in a while. I remember when walking workouts were like so so popular about a year ago i remember absolutely loving them when i did that week of walking workout so yeah let's do it Our walking workout is done. I think that was a pretty solid walking workout. Was it the most intense 30 minutes ever? No, but I wouldn't really expect to have the most intense workout ever if I am choosing to do a walking workout. I think this one would be really good if you want to take a more active rest day or just something to do like maybe while you're watching TV or like doing something. Put this video on silently and just walk. <laughs> I think this video was really easy to follow. Our structure was 40 seconds on and then 15 second rest and yeah, we walked. There were a couple of like funkier moves in there, I think, which were definitely fun to do along with our more standard conventional walking exercises. I think my one critique for this video would be purely personal preference, but for walking workouts, I do like when they choose songs that you can walk to the beat to. I just find them a lot more fun when you can use the music to keep your pace rather than like choosing your pace for yourself. It just feels like more of a dance type fun workout if you can like stop to the beat, you know what I mean? I thought this walking video was pretty solid. <laughs> that though does bring me to the end of this workout week of trying viral workouts. What did I learn this week? Uh, <laughs> I find it interesting. Hold on, let me just check what I did this week. One common theme for the week is that we didn't use a single piece of equipment this week. We didn't use any weights. We didn't use any like booty bands or anything. It was just all body weight, no equipment. All you need is like a floor and a mat, which makes sense. No equipment workouts are definitely the most accessible to everyone which explains why these videos got more clicks than others the other theme that I noticed is that we basically just did hit and abs this week <laughs> or maybe not hit like cardio all we did was cardio and abs there was that one stretching day but for the most part yeah it was just Cardio and abs. Cardio and abs is all we like to do, apparently. <laughs> and then on top of that, we had a lot of clickbait titles and thumbnails this week that I did not agree with for the most part. It does kind of make me sad that these types of titles are the ones that get clicks because obviously they're kind of feeding into insecurities and that's how they get clicks and that's how they get views and ad revenue and all that. And I know that YouTube is a business, but I just wish that we could all stop with the kind of toxic video titles that promise you things that don't make sense. Overall, was this workout week my favorite? Probably not. <laughs> Most of the workouts we did this week were all right, I think. I think a standout for me would be the Juice and Toya HIIT workout that we did on Monday. I genuinely enjoyed that HIIT workout. And then the rest, I'm glad I did them. I got a decent workout, but would I do them again? Probably not, to be honest. Not because I hated them, just because I do prefer like weighted workouts, different structures, different focuses on things, but it's always good to branch out of your comfort zone and try new things. So with that being said, that wraps it up for this video. Moral of the story, let's try and stop promising abs in two weeks. If you liked this video, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, leave me a comment that says, Working out is fun. <laughs> if you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!